start. Welcome everyone at the University of Utrecht in this beautiful Aula. Um, this will be the last night in our um, autumn series of Studium Generalis. It's also the last evening in the series Systems and Subjects. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of all the organizers behind this lecture series, which is the Faculty of the Humanities of our university. It is BAC, Basis for Arts and Kunst, the Contemporary Art Institute located in Utrecht, and Studium Generalis. My name is Melanie Peters, I'm the director of Student Generale and um, I'd like to welcome you as well. Um, just a little bit about our work for those who don't know us. Um, we are the platform of the university where you can find the latest news on science and we especially work on interdisciplinary subjects. Since it's the last night, I will give a, bring, a quick preview for next year. Um, next year we start again in February and Hermann Philips will be here, here on Tuesday speaking on ethics and evolution. We will speak on philosophy of science, on free will and determination. We will talk about high and low culture, about the power of corporations and also we will read world literature and especially on uh, desperate housewives in uh, classical literature. So that's just to give you an impression of the many things that we are here for. It's always free, it's open to everyone, lecturers, students, and anyone in the public. Now we will go over to tonight's event. It's not a lecture, but it's a debate. Um, it's a series of, of um, short contributions and a way of wrapping up our series that was titled Citizens and Subjects and came from the Biennale project. Um, the main question we have been trying to answer in this series is why it is that in the West, the Netherlands and other Western countries, we haven't come to terms with immigration, neither morally nor politically, and you know, we hope that we found some answers, of course not all, but I was um, this afternoon at a meeting uh, where Louis Globus spoke on sustainable development and he said there is no biodiversity if there is no cultural diversity. And one of the millennium problems is overcoming fear, the freedom of fear, which fits in very nicely with what we have been discussing, that we cannot save the planet if we don't learn to live together on this planet. That was the vision actually behind this uh, series of talks. I'll now give the floor to Maria Mayalova, who is a curator of the Biennale project, and um, who was the one who asked us to start this series of lectures. She will put the context about this whole project and the reader that is actually the basis for our discussion tonight. The floor is yours. Thank you, Melanie. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to this um, last session of the series Citizens and Subjects, Practices and Debates. And um, contrary possibly to the expectations, I'm quite happy that for the first time this room is not filled. Because this um, uh, presents us with a promise, or at least a possibility for in-depth discussion in which we all uh, can uh, get involved. I'd like to say a, a couple of words about the project citizen and subjects, at the risk of repeating myself, myself before those who, um, who have been uh, visiting all the, all the lectures and seminars and the series. Citizens and subjects, is the title of, uh, uh, of the Dutch contribution to the 52nd International Art Exhibition Venice Biennale that uh, closed in Venice on the 21st of uh, November. And uh, from the public series of lectures, this is the last session, last session of a third part of the project titled Citizens and Subjects and Practices and Debates. Um, the project consists of three parts, um, a new uh, video and architecture installation of Arnold Meek in Venice in the Dutch Pavilion, in which uh, Arnold Meek um, dealt with the issues of fear and anxiety that characterize our sort of Western condition. Fears uh, uh, stemming from various threats, real or imagined, but uh, in a very simplified way uh, related to the issues and terrorism today. A second part of the, of the project is the reader, titled Citizen Subjects, the Netherlands, for example. Um, the reader is actually a platform that uh, will provide a framework for us this evening to debate these issues, issues of citizenship, 
issues of citizens and subjects. Um, and issues of particular example of the Netherlands. Um, something that Arnold asked me, asked me to stress before this session. The, his project in the, in the Dutch pavilion uh, in Venice did not deal with the issues uh, related specifically uh, to the Netherlands. He very consciously um, enlarged a framework with uh, which he worked, and that was specifically Western condition, as he called it, called it himself. To focus on, uh, on the Netherlands specifically as an example was a decision of the three editors of, uh, of the reader. Uh, Rosie Bradley, who sits at the um, end of the table, and also who's going to uh, help me moderate moderating this uh, in-depth discussion. Um, and Charles Escher, uh, director of Fun Album Museum, who's joining uh, the panel uh, tonight as well. I'd like to say a few words about the reasons why um, there was a critical reader published. As you might recognize it as a, as a gesture of criticality, if you, if you wish, to replace a traditional promotional catalog that usually comes uh, with a presentation in a national pavilion. As you know, Venice Biennale is the oldest international perennial exhibition, one of the most important one of those exhibitions that claim to, um, to have written history, history of art. But we also know that that context is um, heavily problematic vis-à-vis -vis the, the global, uh, global condition we live in. Mainly because despite the, the uh, global developments in the world, we still present art as an international uh, framework. So it's a Dutch national representation and expectation is every country presents the best of what's happening, uh, happening on the arts in the country. Now you see all these parameters are, are heavily problematic and, and with the project we thought we would like to address this, these parameters uh, of national, national representation, which is so very difficult to meet within the field of uh, um, artistic and intellectual practice, is uh, my conviction. Um, one of the reasons, or one of the, of the conceptual assets of, uh, uh, of this project were also, were also informed by the very fact that despite the Venice Biennale being uh, such an important exhibition that I, I certainly recognize, it's um, um, by and large um, an event of entertainment and spectacle. Um, uh, a beautiful moment every two years to which the whole art world travels to, to gather and uh, um, experience a good time together, one could, uh, one could actually say. We thought, what if we, instead of playing out uh, all these parameters uh, further, what if we try to, um, instead of the catalog, uh, provide a publication that would engage in in-depth analysis of all these issues. Third part I need to mention, uh, 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 citizens, subjects, practices and debates. We decided that we would like to carry on the debate about these issues um, beyond the momentum, glamorous momentum of the opening of the exhibition in Venice and beyond um, uh, the possibilities of the book. And I realized a series of this kind of gatherings here in this beautiful aula in collaboration with the uh, Utrecht University but also with the in Rotterdam and Van Amber Museum. Eindhoven, we believed we needed to uh, carry on this series of discussions, not in the glamorous city of Venice, but bring it back to the Netherlands, as it is this particular nation state that we feel responsibility for uh, discussing. Um, we had a wonderful series of lectures, I, I dare to say, that um, was uh, empowering um, uh, and um, uh, very telling stories by key uh, intellectuals who dedicate their work to a great extent to this country. And this closing panel will be a panel with four contributors um, to the reader. Uh, Iris van der Tijn, uh, sitting next to uh, Rosie Breitlitz, Henk Osterling, uh, Sven Lindeken, and Charles Escher. How we would like to begin is that each of the of the participants uh, of the panel will try
try to revisit their contribution um, to the region. In the case of Charles Eshe, we will be probably revisiting this process of editing the book and process of taking certain decisions that we decided to take. In the case of other speakers, it will be revisiting their essay, their text uh, with which they contributed to the project. And afterwards, we would like to um, invite you to join um, into discussion mainly about, um, about the question why do we find it important to engage with these issues of major ethical um, and political consequence in the field of art, artistic practice and scholarship. Um, but I think at first I would like to offer the floor to Charles Asher to uh, give us um, a brief um, uh, introduction.